Welcome back to Let's Play Lufia 2 Rise of the Sinistrals, where today I'll be taking on the world's most difficult trick. First up, I'm gonna have to blow up this wall. I keep failing. There we go. And I've already recorded it off screen. I'm just gonna edit in the result right here. So I don't have to see me do a life mess the whole thing up. This footage thing. So I'll just edit it in right here and I'll see you back when I complete it. And here we are. And of course our reward, the Mega Shield, and the thing you're here for, Lizard Blow. And on the other side we have the Legend Helm and the Holy Robe. Let's go ahead and equip those. Magic skill. Give the magic skill to Artie. Um, the magic shield is for Guy. And the legend helm is for Maxim in that case. What else did I get? Of course, Lizard Blow. Goes to. Guy. Before you go to the left, you're gonna go up here. Well, you might want to grab these treasure chests. Some more rings and a miracle. Uh, 
And these rings are quite decent. And you get a second Hydora rock, which I've been waiting for. And equip those rings on Artie. The super protection ring. For the courage spell. Which means Sealand will have the rocket ring again. And the super mystery ring should be a direct upgrade from Maxim. No. That's just a horrible ring. Super power ring, nope. Won't be using those. And of course the Hydora Rock. I want to use that one though. For Maxim. Defense drops a little, but he gets a bit more agility, which is useful for Maxim. And I want to go down here. And fight these, because you have to. Again, use a fire spell to... Well, I did get it first. Got in first, so... You can just absorb a few spell points from these. And the Lizard Blow has an increased chance to deal a critical hit, so... It's a good, good thing we have that on Guy now. And he starts dealing pretty nice damage against these dragons, actually. Get a level up for Maxim. And we can just skip that guy. We do have to fight this guy, though. Weak to fire as well. Quite confuse, which can really mess you up if you're unlucky. Darby doing his job. And Guy finishing off the last one. Okay. We get a horrible level up for Guy, and Darby gets a level up as well. And he learns his new spell, Evil Aura. That's the whole reason you want to have Darby. Deal about a thousand damage at this point, so yeah. And we get a Gordon Rock, which has a pretty nice AP attack. The Axe attack. Um, let's see. Nope, not gonna use it, sadly. That's one of the rare drops you might want to pick up in the Asian Cave. down here. It's a dead end. Well, unless you count this as a regular path. Some sort of eruption or shaking or whatever. And you can cross all the way here. And you're gonna see the old man up here. I'm gonna heal up first, because this guy can probably deal some major damage to me. And this is the man. Well, he's not an ordinary man, as he just said. And you get to fight the fire dragon. So I suppose an Arctic Freeze and a Dragon Rush should deal some nice damage. And I'm gonna use Battle Lust on Guy, and then the Courage with Artie. Courage boosts up your defense by 30%, which is quite huge. And this guy's almost as fast as Artie is, probably, so it's a good thing Artie is this fast. Darby runs, of course. And it's a Dragon Rush dealing about 3000 damage, which is. Very, very nice. 
Um, yeah, I'm just going to use another battle lost guy. He'll be the main damage dealer in this fight. And again, you want to heal up every turn with Artie. Or have Seal and Heal and Artie attack. Doesn't really matter. Max, I'm still dealing very nice damage with this Ice Elemental weapon. So I'll use a Battle Lust on Maxim as well. And again, heal up. Has quite a lot of party wide attacks in that case. I figured he'd use some sort of single target attacks, but apparently not. The guy might be able to use another Dragon Rush. Not yet. Doesn't cost a whole lot of spell points, so. Gonna have already use his. No. Just have already heal up. I'll use a Blizzard spell, Ice Falk, and Champion. Oh, and he's faster this turn. So that means he's pretty much tied with Artie. That could have probably ended pretty badly if he decided to use a more powerful attack. Oh, and he's all dead already. Okay. Didn't expect him to go down that easily. Talks about Primeral, the town where mermaids live. Okay, so you can use escape at this point, but you're gonna want to pick up the last treasure chest in this cave uh, up here. It's only a miracle, but still, for completion's sake. to the entrance. And we're back to cheat. Let's go visit the old man. In his house. Right here. Oh, there you are. So, what do you want to talk about? The dual blade. And the Queen of Primrill apparently knows where, where it is. And he'll give us the Jade of Primrill, the key to the land of the mermaids. So let's head to the Mermaid Town, I suppose. North, northeast of here. So that's the island where Darby was at. Only underwater. Once we're there, I'm gonna save up the game in their church. And see you guys next time.